This is ContactTalkRadio.com. Consciousness in action. And you are taking action into your consciousness by tuning into Contact Talk Radio. And on TuneIn.com, Hang.fm, and Upsnap Mobile. Contact Talk Radio. Listening to Dear Venus with your host, Venus Andrick. Hi, gee, it's nice to see you again. I always look forward to this every week, every Tuesday. All right, today it's March 6, 2012. I'm in Southern California and it's a gray, gloomy day. Supposed to have a lot of wind tonight and maybe some rain. I don't know why I like to get the weather <laughs> weather report. I just do because we don't have much weather around here. It's pretty nice. Except for big firestorms, things like that. Okay, topic today is odd and interesting health things, things I've tried, of course. You know, one of my many interests, I have a very huge interest in health stuff. I've almost killed myself a few times or more, but boy, is it a lot of fun. But first of all, I want to give you a phone number because you can call me uh, starting a quarter after the hour, and I will be taking your calls and... You know how I am and what I do. I'm a medium, telepath, clairsentient, clairaudient, clairvoyant, an empath, yada, yada, yada. I just do about everything. Uh, the other day I was teasing a lady I was talking to because uh, I do private you know, phone readings. And I told her I was, reading, uh, I was reading tea leaves in my head for her. And she said, really? <laughs> well, I've seen a few things like I've seen in teacups. My mom used to read tea leaves. I said, no, not really, but I suppose I could. (laughs) Sometimes I feel like that. I think we can do a lot of things we don't know we can do. But anyway, you can call in and chat with me. And the phone number is, this is all countries, it's 1-877-230-3062. That's 1-877-230-3062. and you know I've been pulling names. Oh, I pull names for free readings all the time. you got to be on my mailing list and to get in that pot. And I'm running a new contest, getting you all over to the new mailing list, away from the old one, but I'll tell you more about that later. Uh, but the winner of a recent uh, free 15-minute phone reading, uh, among other things, she was saying, oh, you've changed my whole life. Uh, a number of people have said this lately. I, I really like to hear it. And I just am saying this because some of you are new and you don't know how I work or what I do. Well, just hang on. You'll find out. But I do get in. I try to help people. That's my main goal here. I like to do what I can do. I'm very grateful I have the abilities I have, and I use them. If I don't use them, I suffer. (laughs) I have a blog that will be coming out about that later. I just wanted to mention a lot of people I talk to, I, I I talk to men and women, and a lot of, are many of the women I talk to. So don't think this is you specifically. It's an amalgam. It's, a, it's just all of you together, a lot of you. But they'll be crazy about a man, and they'll set up a time to talk to me. And they want me to go in and read this man's mind. I, I do that. I ask permission, of course. And they want to know what the man feels about them and all kinds of things, which I can generally answer. And then they often want me to make the man fall in love with them or have an affair with them or something. And they some expect me to make it happen. And, you know, that's not what I do. Everybody has free will, and I'm not here to force somebody to do something. It's not right. But, uh, you know, a lot of a lot of you ladies, a lot of you ladies are still sending men emails, sometimes even written letters whatever, professing all your love, love, love for them and anything else you want to say, and then you wonder why you never hear from them again. A lot of you girls do this all the time, and you have to stop it. You know, like I said, I don't force them. If they're not crazy in love with you, we're not going to force it here. But if they are, we can certainly work with that. But I just thought I'd bring that up because I talk to a lot of people that think that I should do this, and I also get emails about it. And also, when you do send men Notes like that, and guys, you can back me up on this, it scares a lot of guys. My gosh, it'd scare me if a man did it. I mean, I might be flattered, but it might scare me. 
You all need to read my book, Certain Men, How to Unlove Them, Unneed Them, and Replace Them with a Good Guy. It's for certain women, too, and certain people. By the way, well, that's a five-star book on Amazon. You can check it out, Amazon.com, Certain Men. I'm having that book turned into an e-book. Yes, and within two or three weeks, it'll be on Amazon, uh, Barnes & Noble, all those out there, and I put a really cheap price on it compared to what you know, books cost, and even e-books are very expensive, I've seen. It's going to be seven ninety nine. so I hope that makes it available to a lot more people. But let's get into the odd news, uh, the health news. I think I'm putting it off because I don't want to look really stupid. <laughs> what have I ever cared, right? I want to talk to you about something, a machine I'm trying out. It's a machine. And I've studied this for many, many years. You may have heard of something called a Rife machine, R-I-F-E, Royal Rife was a man in the 1930s, and he had this do- this idea of working with frequencies, and he was making he would make these machines, and he put in frequencies like that would kill bacteria, viruses, uh, parasites, cancers. It would work supposedly work on all different kinds of health issues. And this has been very popular throughout the years. However, the authorities have always shut the people down. They got rid of Rife. He died a broken man. You know, um, people in control and power are making all the money. Let's face it, they don't want to change it. And you might even be the same way if it was you. Let's be real here. <laughs> Since we're not in their position, we we feel like we can talk about them. But, yeah. So... But you can always get machines like this or underground or whatever. And I think it was 25, 30 years ago, I bought one. It was hugely expensive. People used to just make these. And you never really knew who you were dealing with, what you were getting. I remember uh, a man in my town. This was at the coast when I lived there. This was in summer. was a little kid. And and uh, I would go to this guy's house and with some other people. And they'd hook us up to this machine one at a time. I remember putting my my bare feet or my bare hands, I'm not sure which, on metal plates. And then you'd hold wires. must have been your bare feet on metal plates. You'd hold wires. Sometimes we'd have our feet in water. And they'd turn on the machine, and you could feel this electric charge. Or you couldn't. I can't remember that. And supposedly they were killing off all kinds of stuff. It was fascinating. I very enjoyed it. Very much enjoyed it. Might have even had things around our heads. That sounds like me. Summer still talks about the time we belonged to this cult group by accident, and I made her wear a, a metal tri- triangle on her head all the time. I wore one, too. She won't let me forget that. So anyway, I never found that those machines worked. <laughs> I had all the belief in the world, and I'm very open-minded. You probably know that about me. I'm always willing to give something a, a shot, you know, because you never know. Some things do work. So finally, I just said, well, that's that. I bought a machine. That's after I decided. I mean, I bought it, and then after I tried it for a long time, I said, that's not working. So I put it up on the shelf, and I carted it with me wherever I travel to or move. I had it there for years and years, and finally, a couple years ago, I just said, i got to dump this thing, although I had paid a fortune for it. It was really hard to dump it, but I did. I've had to dump a lot of strange things I've bought. Well, recently, I was thinking about it and just Googling around, and I, I fell into the same information. Uh, but there are some machines out like like that still out there, although there's another one that seemed different to me, and it's very small, and it was less expensive, and it had a good feel about it, and I talked to the people, and so I got one. Of course I got one. You know, everything's a tax write-off for me. That's how I always feel about it. So for two weeks now, I've been tutored on it, and I've been trying it. It's much more simple than the others. I just stick some uh, pads on my hands, hook myself up to to the machine, stick a few things in, put in a disc, and sit for 10, 20 minutes, whatever, and see what happens. And um, various things have happened, and you know what? I do feel pretty good. So what I'm going to do is I'm testing this, and I will let you know at a future date if I think this works. If it does, it's something you should always have because um, you can't always rely on antibiotics or you know, you can't always get to a doctor. You can't always get help when you do. If you could do it for yourself, wouldn't that be so cool? So I thought I'd just mention that. Um, then I wanted to talk about jumping along here. <laughs> I wanted to talk about something called telomeres. And telomeres 
Um, the spelling of that would be T-E-L-O-M-E-R-E-S. You've probably heard of telomeres. And I've got some information here. I'll just skip along and, and choose from it. Um, basically, they're tiny strands of DNA, uh, sort of like a zipper that shortens with poor dietary choices, inflammation, everyday stress. So there was this report in a journal of nutritional biochemistry that showed that if we reduce our oxidative stress, uh, cellular inflammation, and improve the DNA methylthion pathways, we can extend telomere length and we can slow our biological aging clock. Uh, and there are certain nutrients that provide these uh, building blocks to do this. And then they go on to talk about g- genes and genetics. And you know how they're finding you're born with certain genes, but you're not doomed to them. Some never get turned on. Some do, good and bad. So if you know how to not let the bad ones be turned on, wouldn't that be a good thing to know? And, of course, uh, that's what we're talking about here. And they mentioned that our genes are always under the influence of our environment, lifestyle, and dietary changes. And then they go on to talk about um, different vitamins and herbs and things. What will help you keep your telomeres from shortening, to keep them long, long, long. They say that people who live the longest seem to have the longest telomeres. So listen up here and see what you can do. Not only live the longest, but look the youngest. Hey. So this journal found that men, and I suppose it would work for us women too, with the highest levels of folate in their blood have the longest telomeres when compared to those with the lowest levels. Folate, I believe, is a B vitamin, and they're talking about 800 micrograms each day MCG. Uh, You can get uh, folate, a lot of folate in greens, a lot of green greens. Just be eating greens every day. You know what I do? I've also read if you have meat, you should always have um, a vegetable with it or green or something. It offsets the bad stuff in meat. So a lot of times in the morning, I will just take coconut oil and I'll braise, saute up some uh, different kinds of greens and bell peppers or onions. And and uh, maybe I'll put in a little um, chicken broth or bone marrow broth that I've made. I've talked about that before. And I get those and then I'll put some meat in with it, whatever kind you want. And then I feel like I'm covered. Hey, good start to the day, and I'm protected from anything that shouldn't be there. But back to telomeres. Um, in addition to the folate, vitamin B12, B12, you know, as we get older, we just don't absorb it. They suggest 500 to 1,000 micrograms daily. Again, MCG. I get B12 shots because I just wasn't absorbing it. I had a lot of trouble with my gut for a long time, you know, with that bad bacteria I must have had for 25 years when I was traveling out of the country. I was really sick all the time, and nobody knew what it was. Well, it was this bacteria took over my old gut, so I didn't absorb a lot. And uh, they go on to say, and the entire B vitamin family are associated with longer telomeres. So if you're a drinker, like alcohol, wine, whatever, you really need extra B vitamins, and get the whole complex. You don't want to take it in pieces. It unbalances everything. And sulfur-enriched proteins from nuts and seeds are also important methyl group donors. And they've concluded that minerals, the mineral zinc, 25 to 50 milligrams per day, and magnesium, 4 to 800, is that milligrams, I think, so mg each day. I'll be careful with magnesium. If you take too much, ooh, you get the runs. Space it out. Anyway, these are necessary for your telomeres. And a lack of these uh, cofactors lead to DNA strand breakage, premature cell destruction, and acceleration of the aging process. And vitamin C, 1 to 3 grams per day. I've always taken tons of vitamin C, which may be why I look a lot younger than I'm supposed to. So eat organic foods when you can. Walk. Exercise. Don't smoke. Smoking, you know, destroys your vitamin C and other things. Uh, reduce inflammation in your body. That's one of the biggest things that causes a shortening of telomeres and causes all different kinds of diseases. I went to a ophthalmologist three years ago maybe, and he saw a slight swelling in one of my eyes. Um, and he said that means inflammation, something going on in my body, inflammation or diabetes. Well, I had my doctor check it out, and he didn't find anything except I had that inflammatory condition in my gut. So once I got that killed off and taken care of, 
Uh, I'm sure I'm doing, my telomeres must be much better than they were. And you, if you have inflammation in your body from arthritis, neuritis, any of the itises, or you suspect anything, you need to get that taken care of. You, know, you need to find out how to reduce your inflammation. There are herbs and vitamins that will do that, plus you need to take care of the condition at hand. So there's that. Now I wanted to read you, let's see the time. Oh, we have a little time here before the short break. I wanted to read you because we're getting close to tax time. I wanted to read you a tax mojo. This lady, I was working with her on the phone doing a private phone reading. And you know how at the end of every private phone reading, I always turn off the clock and then I give you a free mojo, right, just for you. And she said, uh, hi, Venus, here's the testimonial for you. The tax mojo you did for me at my last reading worked. I am getting a refund back that is almost double what I thought I would receive. Hooray! Your mojos work wonders. Love, Sharon. Yeah. Yeah. i got to do one on myself now. The tax mojo. And uh, let's see. There was another one here. But I don't know where it went. I have stacks of these things around. All right. All right, all right, we'll just leave it, and I think we'll just go on. Oh, oh, I know what it is. I know I couldn't see it. It's a, it's a card to me. You know how I love to get emails from you, and I get cards from you sometimes? And this lady sent me a card, and I told her I'd read it, and she said, okay. And inside the card, a lovely card, she wrote me lovely comments. She enclosed a check for $25. And uh, she has a unique idea. Her name is Claudia. She said, it's an overdue Valentine, Venus. Every year I send out greetings to the wonderful and wondrous people in my life who inspire, encourage, uplift, and make me laugh. You, dear sweet lady, do all of this. I sent you an email a couple of years ago when I first heard you, and I stated that all I did, that although I did and still do, to be honest, think that you are a bit off your nut. (laughs) And I remember that. Do you remember that? I think I read it on air. She said, you make me laugh and learn from your wisdom. No, I'll never believe that you can communicate with squirrels or James Dean, but it is a quirkiness I allow because you are so delightful. In fact, my husband teases that you and I belong on a ledge somewhere together when I share some of your funny comments. Um, Anyway, she goes on and she goes on about, she's so complimentary. But she she says, this is a little love offering for the hours of enjoyment that you have brought to my life. Please buy a nice bottle of wine and have a drink on me. I look forward to more of your fabulous blogs and the amazing artwork that you add to it. And then she gives me blessings, etc. Isn't that cute? Isn't that wonderful? I never had somebody send me a check for $25 before because I amused them. But as I told Carol, I was going to tell you, you can send me money anytime because I amused you. Don't worry about it. That's a joke. That's a joke. But I thought it was very sweet. Very sweet. And you know, it's something we can think about. You know? Um... Who in our lives blesses us, amuses us, makes our lives better? Let them know. I forgot to mention something about telomeres, and we're going for a break. Um, Stress. They're finding that stress, even thinking about stress or things you have to do that stress you out, shorten your telomeres. So, you know, folks, we've all got to get hold of ourselves. (laughs) We've got to do it right now. Get a hold of ourselves. Stop thinking. Stop worrying. Eat right. Be happy. Get out in the sun. We can all get old and look really good together. I'm going to be right back to take your calls and a few other things. So stick with me. Oh, my goodness. You better start calling. I I don't think uh, there's nobody on the board. I guess everybody's been waiting or else you didn't realize. You better get on the board. Call. Oh, the number, 1-877-230-3062. I'll be back to take your calls. Venus Andrecht with the Dear Venus Show. Venus's brother-in-law, Dr. Ron Myers, looks inside people and guides them with their health. He's called the Insight Doctor. Because of the economy, for a short time, Dr. Ron is making a phone consultation with him available for only $99. For information, please email Venus's sister, Polly, Dr. Ron's wife, and tell her a bit about your health issues and ask about a consultation. The email address is insightdoctor at yahoo.com. That's spelled insight, I-N-S-I-G-H-T, doctor, D-O-C. 
S-C-T-O-R at Yahoo.com. Venus thinks the world needs cheering up. Let me tell you, her blog certainly does that. Every week, it's a true story about her life and the people in it. Here are a few comments. Oh, thank you. I am laughing so hard. Every Wednesday, it's great to start my day like this. And love, love, love to read your blogs. You always make my day. I have emailed your blogs on to many people this year. And your blogs are profound, prophetic, and wise. They make me laugh and cry and everything in between. And... Okay, Venus, I almost spewed coffee out of my nose reading this one. Too funny. By the way, her family subscribes to her blog for their own protection. You can subscribe, too. Just look for the orange-colored feed at the top of the blog. You can find the latest and often harrowing adventures in Venus's life at godisalwayshappy.com forward slash blog. That's godisalwayshappy.com forward slash blog. Do you know that all of the Dear Venus shows are archived? You can listen to them anytime. To find the Dear Venus show with Venus Andrecht on iTunes podcasts, the archived shows, or to have the current show emailed you each week, go to Venus's website at godisalwayshappy.com. Click on the radio section on the homepage. That's all there is to it. You can have Venus with you anytime, all the time. You may start to feel like she's moved in with you. You can find her archived shows at godisalwayshappy.com in the radio section on the homepage. Venus has become a little gnome in the back room, busily painting switches for your wall lights and 6 by 8 inch good luck mojo paintings. Why? Because she started painting light switches for people who listen to her Dear Venus show. Every time you turn on these light switches, you turn on the good mojo energy. Well, the wall plates are a big hit, and Venus can barely keep up with the demand. You can see and purchase them on her artmojos.com website. And many of you have asked Venus to paint smaller good mojo art so you can put it up in your office cubicles, your car, smaller rooms in your house, and so you can carry it around with you. So now the gnome named Venus is busy making little 6 by 8 inch paintings filled with light and good energy of all different types and kinds. When you purchase any painting, you can email Venus exactly the kind of mojo you want put into it, and she'll put it there personally just for you. She'll write it on the back of the painting, too, no matter what the size. To see the 6 by 8 inch paintings and all of her paintings, plus the light switches, please go to artmojos.com. That's artmojos.com. You know what Venus's mojos are. They are the benevolent energies her mother taught her to pull from the universe. The good energy mojos of all different kinds that help people in all different ways. Venus gathers these energies up from the universe and tosses various ones to all of you each week on this radio show. On her website, Venus has eight more pretty impressive mojos that have garnered many happy testimonials. Mojos that she has taped with extra added energy and had them each set to special music and turned into MP3s. You can purchase these MP3s off Venus's website for a nominal fee and listen to them over and over again. Venus currently has a special running on all eight mojos for $20 off. You can find these mojos on Venus's website, godisalwayshappy.com. And there are more unique mojos coming as MP3s, so be sure and check back off into Venus's site, godisalwayshappy.com. Did you know that Venus does private phone sessions where she digs into the problems or concerns you have with people in your life? These issues can be with men, women, or children, and they can be dead or alive. Venus works to give you a better understanding of what people are thinking about you and your problems. By doing this, she gives you knowledge and peace of mind. Venus also works to help change situations and bring good things into your life after each phone session. After the clock is turned off, Venus does something extra special for you. She asks the high beings to bring through a personal mojo just for you. Something they feel you may need in your life to make things better. For Venus's rates, how she works, and to set up a session, please go to GodIsAlwaysHappy.com. That's GodIsAlwaysHappy.com. If you really want and need to know about someone or something, email Venus now. You're 
listening to Dear Venus with your host, Venus Andrick. Hi, welcome back. Yeah, I'm glad you're here. Next show, next Tuesday. Oh, guess what I'm going to try and do? Next Tuesday's show, March 13th, 2012. I'm going to try and connect with Steve Jobs on the other side. You know, sometimes I think I have a lot of nerve. <laughs> but let's just see if we can reach him and find out what's happening. So be sure you tune in March 13th, 2012. Uh, for the Dead Celebrity Hour with Steve Jobs. And, of course, I'll take your calls like I always do, but that's up. And, oh, with the new blog that's coming out. After I'm off here, I'll be finishing up that blog and getting it out. It'll be up on my blog site tonight or today, later today. And those of you who are signed up to get it through email, it'll come through for you around midnight, 3 a.m., whatever. You'll get it tomorrow, Wednesday in this country. I, I don't know. Some of you, it's... Well, you know, let's not get into country time. I don't want to upset myself or, or get myself mixed up. Okay, the title today is for the blog will be, Are You My Mother? It's a short one. It's a true story, as they always are. I think you might enjoy it. So to get there is um, the blog is godisalwayshappy.com forward slash blog. Godisalwayshappy dot com forward slash blog and once you get there you can sign up anywhere on any blog just look for the orange feed top right and that way you won't miss them and you won't have to worry about will you get them or not a lot of people tell me it really starts their day out right and they really love it and i love to do it and i just encourage you to please send them on uh, please send them on email them on cheer up somebody else that's my intent and you know it just i pause for a minute i just realized I was supposed to have another winner, and I will. There's another There's another winner up there that's going to be up there today uh, because at the end of every month, I go through all the comments from all the blogs, and I just choose a comment, and that person gets a 10-minute free reading with me. So that's one thing i got to do. So many things in my head. All right, let's see. What else do I need to tell you? Oh, 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 the free MP3 mojo. I hope you've all gotten that. It's on my website, MP3, music, words. It's just to make you feel better. I have a lot of mojos on my site for sale for a nominal price. This is one for free. And when you sign up where the blue headphones are, you get it. You can download it. And you also get on my new mailing list because I'm going to be dumping my old mailing list soon. And that means uh, if you're on the old mailing list, you won't be in the pot for any more free readings or anything free I give away. So here's the free mojo, uh, a testimonial about it. This person said, I did the free everything is fine mojo about a week ago. Today I landed a job in almost three years of looking. I don't think I could have done it without this. Thank you so much. Yay. That's where you see the blue headphones on GodIsAlwaysHappy.com site. And let me see. After the break. After the break, I'm going to announce two free readings. One is off the old mailing list. It's a 10-minute free reading. One is off the new mailing list. It's a 15-minute free reading. So be sure you get signed up for that. All right. Let's move along here. I was looking at the chat room, and somebody mentioned about foot baths. You know, you put your foot in this bowl of water and you herbs, or you do that. There's one. There's others where you can put pads on your feet. And all this gunk comes out, and and it's supposed to be heavy metals and all kinds of stuff. Of course I bought those. You know me. I have a couple of boxes of them, but I, too, believe they're a scam. Somebody was saying her husband researched it, and it's a scam. I think it is. You know, I've mentioned the ear candling years and years ago. Uh, I tried. I checked those out. You know, you stick them in your ears. You light, put them on fire, and it's supposed to draw out all the old uh, wax and bacteria and da-da-da. Some horrible stuff comes out all right. But I burned them without putting them in my ears. Same stuff showed up. Hello. And somebody said they were talking about what they have in the morning to break for breakfast in the chat room, a lot of vegetable juices, um, juicing. And somebody mentioned, yeah, but you should only have like four ounces or less or whatever at a time, not the full glasses they show you on TV. Yeah, I think I might have told you how I made my mother deathly ill. I was determined to get her healthy, and I threw everything you could imagine into the blender, uh, into the mix, and it was organic, of course, and it looked like mud, and she drank it. It was an enormous glass, and uh, she went in and threw up, and then she threw up some more, and she came out and sat with me on the patio, and I said, Mom, I'm so sorry. She goes, 
Erp. Erp. <laughs> it was horrible. I shouldn't be laughing. I tried. I, I meant it. I had good intent. So, with good intent, let me go over here to the board, the callers, and let's see what I can do for you. <laughs> I certainly can't make you throw up. It's not my plan. Let's go with Elizabeth, first of all. In Potaski, Michigan, is that where you are, Elizabeth? That is where I am. Hi. Potaski. I never heard of Potaski. Is it big or small? Oh, I don't. I don't know. It's maybe. I think it's less than thirteen thousand people. That would well, be that's small, small, right? That's that's <laughs> that's small. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So why don't you tell me what we're gonna do today for you? Okay. Um. I I have a problem with a doctor. Um, I I saw him about three years ago, and recently I requested my record because I'm on disability and my disability is up for review, and I wanted to see what was going to be being sent in by him. Um, and I found a bunch of problems with my records, like they are inaccurate and there's some information missing, and I think it's going to like reflect badly on me. Mm. So I've been talking with this man's office because, you know, he's a specialist and I can't talk with him directly. And they want me, they won't do anything about it. They want me to come in to see him, to talk to him. Um, to and pay him. to do it? And they want you to pay to do it? Well, yeah. <laughs> but, um, <laughs> that's actually not even the problem. The problem is, Part of my disability is chemical sensitivity, and I know oh. that I can't, I can't go into that office. There's no way, you know. Yeah. Just, I mean, probably with what they clean the carpets with would just knock me over. I I know I can't do it, but so there were some other options of how I could meet with him, um, which is either over over the phone or him making a house call. And I only live a block away from his office. So it wouldn't right. be a big deal is what I think. Well, he's really I he's really dragging his feet on it. I think hmm. he just doesn't want to because it's outside of his comfort zone. Like it he hasn't done stuff like that before. It just okay. is easiest for him. I was wondering if you could go in his head, maybe see, um I'd ultimately like to convince him to meet with me outside the office. Some, in some way that I can meet with him, either the, over the okay. phone or house Okay. Okay. So, can you give me his name? I could. I should probably only give you his first name. Would that work? Well, sure. Give it to me, and let's see what happens. Okay, Pete or Peter. Doctor Peter, somebody. Okay. Yes. And he's a specialist in something. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and you can't say what, right? Well, I think he's the only one with that name in this town, so... Um. Okay. Let's make it harder for me, then. <laughs> well, okay. I think he's um, he's probably, like, between 5'6", five 5'9". Five he's probably in his 50s. He's got maybe salt and pepper hair. He's kind of fit. He's not... Yeah, I see him. Don't worry about it. I got him. Okay. And you said he's kind of fit. And you know what he showed me? He showed me himself as being a little pudgy. So that tells me he worries about that. Okay. That's probably why he's so fit. He doesn't want to be pudgy. I think he must have been a pudgy kid or something. That's okay. just an aside. I mean, I'm it's of no interest to us whatsoever, but that, that's what I saw in my head. Okay. Okay. Elizabeth, I'm going to come into you first of all and then get a bigger connection with him. Elizabeth, Elizabeth, Elizabeth. Elizabeth. Okay, gotcha. Don't have time to tarry, so let me just look in, look out through your eyes for a minute. Yeah, and this is not helping your health. You feel very stressed about this, very worried and nervous, and so just I get this feeling like inside you, like like you're so frustrated. I guess that's the word for it, and I don't blame you. So let me find Doctor Peter Pudgy Peter, Doctor Pudgy Peter. <laughs> <laughs> Can we call him that? Sure. Okay, it'll help me. It just doesn't affect it negatively, I guess. No, 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 no. I'm okay. just teasing you, but that's how I see him. So, okay, Dr. Peter, may I talk to you? I am a friend of Elizabeth. She's on disability, and she needs to have her records fixed. She needs to talk to you. She's been wanting to talk to you. Why won't you get together with her? She needs to talk to you. Tell me what you're thinking. 
I can't do this for everybody. Uh, you know, I could get in trouble. Uh, I could get in trouble. I'm saying, for what could you get in trouble? I could get, they might think I was doctoring the records. If he went in and put other things in, there's nothing I can do. I probably left things out. But then I'd be doctoring the records. What does she want me to do? I don't need any trouble. He's afraid of getting in trouble. He's afraid of trouble with the authorities or doctors or yeah. medical something. Yep, I, got, I got that feeling, too. Yes. He's just a really afraid, so he's very reluctant, so he throws it all off on his staff. And his staff yeah. is getting very annoyed with him because they can't do anything about it. They just, like, they want to swat him with a fly swatter, you know? He just runs into the back room and they bring it up. Oh, yeah. yeah. So they're having trouble at work over you, <laughs> you, you troublesome woman. Okay, so let me see what I can do. Peter, Dr. Peter, Miss Dr. Pudgy Peter, I need to talk with, uh, I could talk with her over the phone, but then she might be taping me. It would probably be better if I talk with her in person, but I, 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 that's not professional, and, you know, people could accuse me of, he's, he, God, he's a bit paranoid. Yeah, yeah. People could accuse me of this or that. He may just not let those records go, or if he does, he would let them go without comment. I don't know what you can do about him. Maybe the only thing is to talk to the people who are getting him and tell them the problem you're having with him. Talk to the people that what? Well, who is it you're going up? I don't. I haven't done this. Oh, so. the, the, yeah, the disability reviewers. Yeah. Yeah, the, you talk to somebody who's in charge of this and say the problem you're having with this doctor, yeah. and maybe ask for their suggestions. How can I get him? to fix these records he's left things out he's misstated or whatever and i think he's afraid of getting in trouble and i don't know what to do and i is there anybody else i can talk to or go to see that where i could have new records ask for somebody's help and see if you get anything because i think it might even though it might be hard it might be easier than talking to dr pudgy peter Um, or peter pudgy i i see where you're going with that but that's probably not going to work either um because you could what would happen if you asked? Well, because they don't, what they're going to do is recommend that they, I see one of their doctors, and, and I'd still have to go into somebody's office. <laughs> oh, <laughs> so, yeah, yeah. The thing is, I, I understand um, where he's coming from. It's just, it's like, I guess it sounds like, from what you're saying, that to get anything changed, I'd actually have to take this to court, which I, I don't want to do, and I'm not going to, but... No, I, I didn't. I didn't say that. I didn't even see it. Um, I, I know. I'm just, it's just I that I don't know that we can move him. It's like I talked earlier about some people I can influence and move others. I can't. This man is so yeah. frightened and afraid <laughs> that he's just gonna keep. He's like Peter Rabbit. You know, he wants to hop down a hole and hide. So how do you okay. deal with somebody you can't even reach? You can't even talk to. You can't even connect okay. with. Yeah, I understand. Yeah, and if there's no way you can go into the office, then what can you do? You know, you can't work. Well, can you wear a ventilator or something? I don't know. Um, let me ask. If I do go in there, um, is is that going to actually have any effect on my You have more of a chance. You would have more of a chance. He's still skittish. Okay. But lay out your case, take notes, tell him what you need, what you want, and just sit there and look at him with your gas mask on. <laughs> you know, it may have some effect. Okay, darling, I got to go because we've got a break here. Elizabeth, I'll be thinking good thoughts for you. You've just got to get very, very crafty, very use your brilliant mind and, and craft a solution here. Okay. All right. And find a gas Seriously, find a gas mask. You walk into that office with that, they'll get you right back there in the back room. <laughs> okay, okay. All Thank right. So All right. Bye-bye, Elizabeth. Well, too funny, but, I mean, important. It's important for her livelihood and her life and everything. All right, I'm going to take a quick break, and I'm going to be right back to take more of your calls and talk about whatever. Oh, yeah, and I've got two winners here, too. Venus Andrecht with the Dear Venus Show. thinks the world needs cheering up let me tell you her blog certainly does that 
Every week, it's a true story about her life and the people in it. Here are a few comments. Oh, thank you. I am laughing so hard. Every Wednesday, it's great to start my day like this. And love, love, love to read your blogs. You always make my day. I have emailed your blogs on to many people this year. And your blogs are profound, prophetic, and wise. They make me laugh and cry and everything in between. And... Okay, Venus, I almost spewed coffee out of my nose reading this one. Too funny. By the way, her family subscribes to her blog for their own protection. You can subscribe, too. Just look for the orange-colored feed at the top of the blog. You can find the latest and often harrowing adventures in Venus's life at godisalwayshappy.com forward slash blog. That's godisalwayshappy.com forward slash blog. Venus's daughter, Summer McStravick, and I hope you can join me for my online radio show, Flow Dreaming. Visit my website, flowdreaming.com, for all the dates and times it plays. That's Flow Dreaming. I hope to see you there. Venus's brother-in-law, Dr. Ron Myers, looks inside people and guides them with their health. He's called the Insight Doctor. Because of the economy, for a short time, Dr. Ron is making a phone consultation with him available for only $99. For information, please email Venus's sister, Polly, Dr. Ron's wife, and tell her a bit about your health issues and ask about a consultation. The email address is insightdoctor at yahoo.com. That's spelled insight, I-N-S-I-G-H-T, doctor, D. O-C-T-O-R at yahoo.com. Become a power manifester with Summer McStravick's complete Flow Dreaming Library CD set. Finally, here is a real practical technique that you can do in 15 minutes a day to activate the law of attraction in your life. No meditation, no long learning curve. Summer shows you how to easily start rewriting your energy patterns now. Go to flowdreaming.com to listen to actual excerpts of the CDs as you become a power manifester. Visit flowdreaming.com. You can reach Venus for your own private reading by visiting GodIsAlwaysHappy.com and using the contact form to reach Venus. You can also enter to win a free psychic reading with Venus by signing up for her blog or newsletter at GodIsAlwaysHappy.com. Venus draws winners' names each week. Plus, you can follow her very interesting life. That's GodIsAlwaysHappy.com. Listening to Dear Venus with your host, Venus Andrecht. Hi, welcome back. All right. Fan page. I have a fan page. Facebook fan page. Please sign up there. Um, I put a lot of things there that never make it to the blog or the show, just funny stuff that happens, pictures of my cats or whatever. And uh, I think you might enjoy it. I hope so anyway. My my intent is not to bore you. Anyway, <laughs> to sign up. Just look for Venus Andrecht, A-N-D-R-E-C-H-T. I really don't use the friend page. Too technically challenging. All right, winners, winners. We've got winners. The winner of the 10-minute private phone reading. This is off my old mailing list. This is Dot Roy, D-O-T-R-O-Y, Dot Roy, Dot you have uh, through March 12, 2012, to contact me through my website or email. Website, of course, is GodIsAlwaysHappy.com. You get a free 10-minute private phone reading. Dot, I remember you. I used to work with you all the time. I wonder what happened to you. Where would you go? You probably got married, and you're very happy. Okay, the winner of the 15-minute private phone reading. This comes off the new mailing list that you get onto when you sign up on my website with the blue headphones, GodIsAlwaysHappy.com. The 15-minute winner, and I've already emailed her, by the way. If you're one of the 15-minute winners while I'm running this contest, while you're moving over to the new mailing list, I'll always email you if you win. Yvonne Alsop. Yvonne Alsop. And, again, she has till 3-12-2012. All right. Um, I think that's all you need to know here. Let's see. Uh, 
Chat room. Okay, Teresa. She says, um, blah, 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 blah. let me see here. She was saying she's got a son named Samuel. He's, I think she said, four and a half years old. She just disappeared. Four and a half year old Samuel. Samuel, he tends to be moody. I give him fish oil and the hope to help him with his moods. He has blonde hair. Okay, mm, Lisa already answered her. She said four and a half year olds are moody. Plus, remember that as the child is about to go through either a growth or cognitive spurt, they kind of lose it. Their brain forgets temporarily what they have learned up till now as they are processing new info. Once the spurt is over, they calm down. Okay, along with that, I got something like he may have food allergies. You need to check. Check into food allergies. And I also got a sense that he may even have almost been born like this. A tendency toward it, which could mean uh, developing allergies to some things. So check it out. All right. Let's move over here to the board. And I want to go with um, Mariana Argentina. Mariana, I know you. Hello. Hi. Hi, Venus. How are you? I haven't talked to you for a while. How are you doing? What's happening? I'm so happy to talk to you. I, I wanted to ask you about a guy that I'm dating. His name is Javier. Yeah. I want you to check in with him. He's super cute. He's like 51, tall. Uh huh. What do you want to know? Hair. Dark hair. I want to know, you know, if he if he really likes me, if he, you know, if he wants something something serious, or because it's kind of confusing sometimes. Okay. How old is he, and what does he do? He's, he, He's 51. He owns a. Re- he's very, very busy guy. He owns a restaurant. He's an engineer. Okay. You know, Is he's he in politics? How long have you been seeing him? Like around uh, a month. Okay, not long. So he's not some guy I know. Whenever I talk to you, you always have guys. You always yeah. have men. This is a very <laughs> new one, and I, I really like this one. But you okay. Know, I yeah. Give me his name again, please. His name is Javier. Javier. Okay. Let me get I into you. I don't know if he's going to be into me or if he's a womanizer, you know, or what. Oh, going I on. know. I think you get a lot of uh, womanizers, don't you? Yeah, exactly. You attract him. Yeah. Okay. Well, let me yeah. check him out. Javier. Let me go through Mariana. Whoop, whoop, whoop in Argentina. Javier, Javier, come here. I just grabbed him by the back of the pants. He was heading off somewhere. Javier, can I talk to you, please? I'm a friend of Mariana's, and she said... She's been dating you for about a month, and she wants to know what kind of guy you are and how you feel about her. Hello? Is he is he just running away from me, or is he a guy who's always on the move? Uh, he's kind of a busy, a very busy guy. He's supposed to be quiet today. <laughs> well, I, I had to grab him by the back of the pants, like around the waistband there. Okay, well, I'm coming around to his front. Okay, can I come into your head? He's letting me in. Javier, how do you feel about Mariana? How do you feel? He is definitely very business oriented. He's got a lot of things in his head. Yes. He he would be an entrepreneurial type. That's what it looks like to me. He's always thinking this, thinking that, putting things together in his mind. Uh, he's got a lot of energy into his work. He wanted to talk about that first and have me acknowledge it. Yes, you're very good at what you do, Javier. It's nice to meet you. All right, now let's look at Mariana. How do you feel about her? Her. How do you feel? He thinks you're a hot lady, an interesting lady, a pretty lady. He has all those thoughts. I'm not sure he's ready to settle with anybody yet or even this soon. I don't think he thinks he knows you well enough to make any long-term plans, even if he said it. I don't know if he said it, but the sense I get about him is he's so involved in his work and his thoughts and his mind. Have you noticed that? He just yes. I, It's like I have trouble getting him to pay any attention to me. Have you had that trouble yet with him? Um, no, no. I mean, when he's with me, he's with me. But um, but I'm kind of confused, like what he wants. You know, if he, I want to know if he really likes me. If he, he really know, likes you. He someone. really, he really likes you. But he's so distracted. I just feel that he's not able at this point to put any real energy on it, or not the kind of energy you want. As yeah. quickly as you want, you're going to have to give this man a lot of string. <laughs> Tie the string around his belt loop at the back there where I've got a hold of him and just yeah. <laughs> give him a lot of length and and, and is, just is don't pressure him. Another, is, is, don't pressure him, you know I mean, you say? I say don't pressure him in any way. Be okay. loving, warm, friendly, always fun and happy. You know how to do it. 
don't bring up do we have a future, how do you feel about me, or I really like you, or just don't okay. do any oh, of that. The man. Okay. Don't, even, don't even say that I like him, you, you're advising me. Well, you can say I like you, but don't fall all over him and lick his arm, you know? Oh, okay? I can see. I can see. And that, does he <laughs> like another girl? You know, I think women are there, but they're always secondary. He's so busy right now. He's so into whatever it is he's doing. You're just going to have to use patience here and see how it plays out and see if you can get his attention. Yeah, you have his attention when he's with you, but yeah. when he's not with you, his mind is elsewhere. You're sitting around thinking about him, calling me to ask about it. And he's not doing that, okay? So Even I if he's like kind of play off a game, you know, hard to get and all that stuff. I would. I'd be friendly. Okay. Don't be too. Don't be too hard to get. But you know. He likes a challenge. That's why he loves the business world. Yeah, he oh, likes a challenge. I, I would be so, a challenge so too, darling. Maybe he's the same way with women, right? Like you know, he likes the Yeah, challenge. that's how I would do it. That's how I would do it. Okay. All right, darling, I got to go. I'm running out of time. Thank you so very much. I love you. Bye. I love you. Bye-bye. It's nice seeing you again. You know, I got to do another thing here, and I want to get a mojo out, too. And I suddenly realized, holy smoly, I'm running out of time. Leslie, Seattle, Washington. What's going on with you, Leslie? Hi, Venus. Uh, thank Hi. you so much for taking my call. Yeah. I, I, like, I enjoy all of your stuff so much. Oh, thank you. Arms. Thank you. Thank you. So what are we going to do for you? Um, well, <laughs> complicated family situation. Well, I've only got four minutes. <laughs> <laughs> um, my mother's having, well, it's affecting me stress-wise, but she's having high blood pressure episodes very serious, and it's mm-hmm. the last couple of weeks. And it seems like the doctors, they keep prescribing medication and they can't get to the bottom of it. And I think it's the medication maybe is uh-huh. is compounding the problem. But her blood pressure like goes over 200. She goes to uh-huh. the hospital. They give how her old is she? Comes. What's her name and how old is she? Carol, 81. And she's been okay. healthy. Somehow, okay. But let me look. Let me, Leslie, let me look. I'm running against the clock here. I want to look at her. And then I'm going to throw out a mojo to her and everybody. It's going to be a health mojo, so everybody get ready. All right, Carol, Carol, let me look into you. Carol, Carol, the one with Leslie's mom, high blood pressure. What's going on here? You know, she may be very toxic or have some uh, heavy metals or something in her. Would help to find some way to get her get her on a cleanse. You know, there's all kinds of things you're not you're going to need to look around. I don't have time to get into all of it, but you could start with just like. Lemon and water in the morning, first thing, and a glass of water before she eats to start there. There's some suppositories you can put up, you know where, to pull out heavy metals. There's um, there's all kinds of things. There's pectin, certain kinds of uh, fruit pectin. Google this. It brings out heavy metals. Start with that. And um, since I don't have much time, again, I'm going to do a mojo. Okay. This is for Carol. And, Leslie, this is for you to calm down, too. It's not helping you any. No. <laughs> just relax. Everybody out there, just relax. 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 And get ready to everybody calm down, feel so much better. Ah, And everything that should happen will happen. Everything comes to you in the best and easiest way. Any health problems melt away. Find the answer. The answers are brought to you, the ways to heal, listen to the free MP3 Mojo on my website. Everything is always okay to work on your mind and your body. All right, so here we go. Woo, 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 woo. Bam, bam, bam. Woo, woo, woo. Shoo, woo. Bam, bam, mojo, mojo. Woo, woo, woo. I am so hot. I started getting hot when I started talking about this. I am just about ready to die back here, and I'm not going to start taking my clothes off. It's dangerous with the gas man out there. But um, so that, Leslie, I'm back to you. i got a minute here. I believe I have a minute. 30 seconds. 30 Wait. seconds. Okay. Yeah. I'll be thinking of your mom. Uh, she can be okay. You just need to start. You might even have her chat with uh, somebody who's into natural healing naturopathic doctor, yes, some fine. other kind. Okay, it's time for that. Yes. I'm going to have to go. I'll be thinking good thoughts for her. Venus Andrecht with the Dear Venus Show. See you next week. Bye.